So you see my bolts locked open right now? Yes. And that's it. And that's it. Well, what is it that catches? Why is this where you gotta like, I gotta press it to release it and let it off? What's, what's the reason for that? See this part here. Your part has like a fish hook notch in it, which locks it open. This doesn't have that part. So when you pull this back, and then when you pull it, it just automatically releases. Damn, and that's what we're gonna install here today. That's what we're gonna put her in today. You're wicked. First things first. Gotta release the. Uh, okay, so you need an Allen key, of course, to take it apart. Wow, that's simple. That's simple. Wow, they, they don't mess around with these, uh, explaining that they're, the Rugers are so modular. And that's the beauty of the, this brand. Why does it have the most parts and they've just made so many things for it? It's just known for that. Is that just a byproduct of being in the market for such a length of time? Or is it just the, that well, was their- It's one of the most uh, customized guns going. Like you can buy just about anything for these. Oh, that pin wants to fall out. Gotta really push them through. It's good that they're tight, but. A little too much. Too do much do people ever put like uh, blue Loctite on it or something like that just to keep it? Because once they're in, they're in, right? Once they're in, they're in. They're not coming out. It's only to hold the trigger in place. So. Shows this brand. Well, it's not the best, but it's the next best thing. And you're gonna check them out at Vol Court. Vol Courtsy. Vol Courtstein. Pop the inside. Was that referred to as this? Yeah. Well, this is your bolt hole open thing yeah fall apart so that see that how that notch is compared yep. to this notch oh and that little hook there that's what Oops. keeps it you, it slides up and this, makes it this is what locks it open and then you have a bit of a time getting over that little hump yeah or this one doesn't have it. Bam, it's that simple, really. They put that in place. And they called that a special patent to keep you safe, <laughs> but keep you from shooting half the time. Keep you safe. Damn, I couldn't understand it until I actually read the manual. And I was like, what's going on? I'm slowing my range time, my fun. And you just, you just put that down in, yep. spring or something yeah that little spring has to sit on there oh there's a little um, edge oh and it has to go below the pin it's gonna go below the pin and then shoots across you gotta put your 
extractor on it. And then you bring, what did you bring forward? Um, oh, that's the extractor. Let's see. Oh, and then you just kind of bring that, for, oh, that's what you put on the pin uh, as you put it through. And did it go through this other? Um, yeah, it's gone through that. It has, and does it, okay, gotcha. Got it? Yeah. And then what's this? That's the, oh, that's, that's the firing your, pin? No, oh. that's, that's your mag uh, dent oh, for your mag to put pressure on your mag. Gotcha. This is your mag release. Mm -hmm. Put that in there and it's got a seat. And then does it attach with something within it? I'm gonna have to put this in there. But let me get this back in here. There, it should go in there, there we go. Get that in there. You hold that with your finger on the front. Get that up in there. Where did it go? Smaller pen <laughs> for the uh, release. Hold your tongue a special way. Presto, we're in. And you confirm that it's working by pulling the trigger? It's working. Okay. Maybe stubborn. three pins in you can use a mallet if you need it we're doing the old elbow grease keep it flush this time. Oh, that and this is the, with the new uh, release locking mechanism installed. Okay, and now that easy that easy it's tough. Did, and you just press you just press and hold the um yeah, you just pull it back press and hold yeah press and hold press yeah. and hold the little silver thing yeah it's locked back and then bam then you can you put a chamber in the round or yep. round in the chamber right. <laughs> i like to get that freaking pin down that's the way it was when we started it though. Is it a little? It's up a little bit. Yeah. It's, uh, Will it still go in? It'll, it'll just sit in there and then it goes nowhere? Or it doesn't go anywhere. Could that, be, could that be a problem? No, it just doesn't. Uh, go flush? It should be flush. Looking pretty flush now. It's getting there. I think that hole is a little tight. Oh, well, one thing is your. The trigger will never fall out. Presto! And put it back in the wonderful ma manufactured Magpul stock, which has a lot of variations on the market.
Do they ever go like a certain amount of pounds of pressure versus just make you, it tight? You can no, wow, you can play with it. It'll actually change the accuracy of the gun. Really? By torquing that screw. Oh. So just, it, it could be anywhere from 20 pounds to 30 pounds. You, you play with it. Uh, and all fi you'll find a sweet spot. It'll just settle right down. All right. I think it's time to take a couple shots. Pull something out of the Slide stock the there. And let's check it out. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> One in. Let's test this sucker. You may go first. <laughs> Where should we go? Which oh, I'll just shoot in the dirt. I think it works, yeah. Awesome. Any any advice to people that want to do this change up? Any advice? That is the number one thing you should change in a 1022. Is changing your bolt hole and open thing. Or file that out. That little hook. What's up with the buffer pin that you also recommend switching out on these Rugers 22s? So you were saying that um, when the uh, bolt comes back, it hits steel? Steel on steel. Steel on steel. And instead, you can switch out the, what's it What's it referred to as? The the buffer pin. And you can then put in what? A poly pin. A poly pin. And the poly pin will then slam back to the steel and not create such... It's just easier on your bolt. It's easier on your gun. It's just... Everything just works a lot easier. Gotcha. And it's, and it's referred to somewhere indicative of about where this little uh, circle is on it. And yeah. you can switch those out relatively easy? Fairly easy. They just, <laughs> I shouldn't say they just push in and out. Yeah. Look at the last pin we tried to get in there. <laughs> and you're also saying that high velocity ammo is not recommended for these 22s, semi automatic 22s, because why? It creates what? It just works everything harder. It's just, I don't know what to say, but it just. Your recoil, there's more recoil, eh? so everything's working harder. Other things you can do is change your uh, bolt spring. Mm -hmm. If you're going to shoot high velocity, you change your spring. Mm. And it, you know, it helps it work better. It, it's tighter, it has more... Um, yeah, it has more tension to it. Tension. And so you went with standard velocity. Um, what is this at standard velocity? What's the... It's 1070. 1070 versus this, which is uh, 1435. <laughs> yeah, there's a big difference. At the 400 feet per second. So, all right. 